I'm Lara, I'm 24 years old, um, I'm a master's student um, at UCL studying global migration. About a month ago I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia and um, well when I was first diagnosed it was a big shock to me because sort of in the couple of months running up to it I had a few niggling little symptoms. They were leg pain, I sort of I had a trapped nerve in my arm, then I had tonsillitis for a bit. The leg pain that was only in my left leg and I thought was a muscle pain had shifted to my right hip um, and then that kind of rang alarm bells because I thought if it was muscle pain, if I pulled something, it wouldn't, the pain wouldn't just shift. And so that's when I went to the hospital. They um, diagnosed me with leukemia. Uh, the chemotherapy is over five days and the rest of the time is recovery time. Your immune system is basically down to zero so you have to be very careful to not catch any infections. I was lucky I didn't have too many bad side effects, I didn't get the nausea but um, uh, but sort of inevitably my, my hair has fallen out. This is an appeal for Lara. Um, Lara is our 24 year old daughter and she will need a bone marrow transplant by April. The donor will need to be a genetic match to her and as you can see I'm Thai and her dad is Italian. Right now only 3% of the international registry is mixed race. Please help us diversify the registry by joining. So only two days after I found out that my brother wasn't my match, I'd seen that the Match for Lara campaign had grown so quickly and I was so astounded to see that it even at that point had reached globally. Laura Casalotti has been diagnosed with cancer and is in desperate need of a stem cell donor. The O2 Centre in my constituency will be running a spit drive to get as many people as possible on the bone marrow register. I certainly will join the Honourable Lady in supporting Lara's campaign. Uh, many others will want to come to this event on, on Saturday and support Lara in the way she suggests. It's all thanks to my family and friends who put together the video first and then helped spread the word. And ever since, they've been so supportive and the response has been phenomenal as well. You know, I've had messages from people I don't even know sending me my, their well wishes or sharing their own personal experiences and I, it's really touching. Ciao Lara, uh, sono Jessica, sono un misto italiano come te. This man heard about the plea from Laura's family and wanted to help. He took an eight hour bus ride to the Thai Red Cross Society in Bangkok just to be tested and register. Others have been trying to help too. Friends of Laura's have volunteered to help pack spit kits in response to the high demand of registry for swabs. I'd like to thank everyone who's helped spread the word and I'd like to thank especially everyone who's already gone out to sign up to the donor registries. It's really important that people do sign up and not just potentially to be a match for me but you could potentially be saving someone else's life who's in a similar position to me.